Hello guys, today I show you how to send email using Gmail and Spring Boot. And for this purpose, as usual, I navigate to Spring Starter and generate empty project. And uh, in this lecture I'm gonna use only one dependency, Spring Email. This dependency allows me to easily configure uh, Java send email functionality and send email using simple uh, settings for Spring Boot. I unzip uh, my project under my di working directory and then I just open it with my IntelliJ IDEA. And while my project is downloading in dependencies, we need to configure our Gmail account to be able to send emails using Gmail. And for this purpose, uh, you're gonna need a Gmail account. I already have one. And you also need to configure a two-step uh, authentication to be able to uh, securely send emails I've already configured my Gmail account and uh, set to uh, uh, two-step authentication and now I need to navigate to my uh, uh, Google security Google security settings password I'm gonna use account which I created for these purposes and then you enter to your app passwords you need to select a device and you need to generate password for this device. I'm gonna use other and I'm gonna name my device, for example, localhost. It doesn't matter how you call it, it's just a name for your device. And then it generates your password, which you need to copy paste and put under your password settings but let's navigate back to our project and see that we have an empty spring boot project let's create let's navigate to the resources and application properties and set uh, properties for our um, for our email sending in spring boot it's easily to create uh, send email functionality because all you need is just to uh, put uh, your properties under application properties file and that's it you just get the send email out of the box and I'm just gonna um, use spring mail protocol SMTP spring mail host Gmail uh, spring mail port 587 uh, username it's my uh, Gmail and password, uh, I'm gonna put uh, this password which I generated from generate password uh, application and then I'm gonna enable um, SMTP uh, auth true and SMTP start uh, TLS enable true and that's it. Now I navigate to my um, directory project um, project directory and create new file and let's call it send email service and I'm gonna mark it as service and all I need to do is create my public method which send emails And what else I need to do is just uh, uh, inject email sent uh, from the Spring Boot. 
it already goes with auto, uh, auto configuration so you don't need to configure anything just let me paste auto wired java mail sender and that's it now i need to create my uh, java mail sender uh, send email simple message a uh, simple mail message and And let's say I just uh, add some uh, to email body and topic to my simple mail message. I set from, for example, um, javamaster.com. Uh, let me use email. As you can see, set two accepts one or multiple um, multiple emails. So you can easily set, for example, two or more emails, and Java send mail just sends send it to the multiple destinations. And that's it. To be able to chase if it sends or not, I'm just gonna um, log some mess uh, some text to see in the console. And that's it. Now let's test our method. Let's navigate to our main class and trigger if uh, when our application starts we have annotation event listener application ready event it triggers when our spring boot application starts And I'm gonna auto wire my send email service. And I'm gonna call my send email method. And let's um, send email to my other uh, email. And let's set body hi there and subject is test and let's start our application and see if it send us sends us an email we see the console and we see that it entered and sent email Let's navigate back to our Gmail and see what happens. And yeah, you can see that it uh, sent me an e my email. Uh, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Goodbye, guys.